Welcome to WARN, today we discuss How well LCA Tejas will perform if deployed in Siachen which is world's highest battlefield As an amateur aviation enthusiast, I would like to take shot at this answer, before we look to answer LCA Tejas projected performance here is background on the LCA programs the LCA is proper fighter aircraft and not solely a trainer aircraft. It was developed mainly as supersonic fighter aircraft. A small number of trainer variants will be developed. The aim of LCA is to replace MiG-21 which for decades have been the main fighter aircraft of the Indian Air Force. This means that the LCA will be operating under a variety of different conditions. Now coming to the answer. HAL Tejas High Altitude Trials at less successfully completed by December 2008. Test pilots have compared LCA to MiG-21 and this what they have to say, a MiG-21 is a very old platform, with limited flying time and onboard missiles. LCA, a fourth generation aircraft, is three times as powerful and can carry modern precision missiles for both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. LCA also has ultra-modern quadruplex digital fly-by-wire controls, a glass cockpit, sensors, multi-mode radar and relaxed static stability. In addition, it can fly supersonic at all altitudes. Let's discuss why IAF pilots say so. One lighter the wing loading, the more maneuverable an aircraft becomes. Wing loading is nothing but the amount of lift divided by the wing area, and yes with a max takeoff weight of no more than 13,200 kg it is a relatively light aircraft as compared to other IAF frontline fighters. Tejas has a wing loading of less than 50 lb square foot. To lend a comparison, other medium to light combat aircraft like the MiG-21 had a wing loading of 136 lb square foot. Hence, low wing loading would make it more agile and maneuverable. 2. At higher altitudes, air density reduces, correspondingly lift and drag decrease but at colder temperatures, air density increases and the opposite occurs. Siachen is at an altitude of 5,753 m, 18,875 feet, ASL, although it has no operational airstrips. The nearest operational IAF air base would be LA which is at an elevation of 3,256 m, 10,682 feet. Local temperatures are of course relatively low, varying diurnally throughout the day. 3. Flight worthiness and operations Now 30 years into the LCA program, from engine procurement to falling short of IAF operational requirements, several hurdles have come in the way of LCA fully taking to the skies. A Air Force variant is also in production, and the first operational squadron is being planned at Bengaluru, SQN No. 45, the Flying Daggers. The LCA has been designed and developed to perform extreme conditions like the high altitude, Siachen, northeast etc., and high temperature, western border. Conclusion Ideally LCA performance should be comparable to Swedish Saab JAS-39 Gripen they are powered by a comparable engines. Gripen is powered by Volvo RM12 engine which is a derivative of GE, F404 but not the same, LCA should perform well in Saishan but then we can only say for sure when the aircraft enters service in significant numbers. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this news. Please share your views in comment box. Please like and share this video. Press subscribe button and bell for auto update to you regarding my channel world action and reaction news, warn.